Hello guys, we're back and this time with something that you've all been waiting for another didgeridoo exercise. This one is a very special one like every other exercise that I offer you and it is special because it has two fundamental qualities that I'm after in my didgeridoo practicing. It is a very balanced exercise, so we will practice both push and pull with this exercise and with this kind of exercising we stack different abilities on top of each other to practice them together so we have better use of our time. Sometimes you want to focus on, on a certain thing and sometimes you just uh, want to use your five hours a day the best you can, you know, and you have to stuff in more stuff to practice parallelly. And another great, great quality of this exercise is that it is great to build upon and expand. So you can eventually end up with a song, but more about that later. To follow this tutorial properly, you will have to check my push and pull video and you will have to check my breathing on the tooth video. So I would say this is a um, rather beginner, beginner to intermediate exercise. But if you just um, got your ditch today, maybe this is not the best uh, exercise to start with. However, it is very reachable, very achievable and very scalable exercise. I will be playing it on my 18 years old Moitze. So it is a C didgeridoo with a C tooth. And you should probably, if you have, find something close, something round C, hopefully C, with uh, an easy tooth in the octave. Basically, the exercise is in two parts. The first part will be a pulling part and the second part will be a pushing part. So let's hear it first. Okay. So let's comment on it a little bit. The first part, the tutti part, it has this ta-da, okay? So on ta-da, the jaw goes down, on the m or wa, often marked as wa in my writings, the jaw goes up. Then you have the dum dum. So the first one is a bigger doom, like a uh, mount doom or MF doom, you know, a big doom. Maybe not that big, but the big doom. And you breathe on that doom for sure. Then you have another doom, another push. Whether you will breathe or not breathe on that push, it's up to you. Usually if, I play, if I'm playing like a smaller doom after the big doom, I don't breathe on it. And if I play a bigger doom, like doom, doom, then I breathe on both. Um, in the first part, you don't breathe on the tada, you breathe on the wa. I would say the basic execution of exercise is to play tada mm, and breathe on that and then doom another breath and doom then probably not breath but I leave this up to you okay it will be maybe a little bit easier with just one breath on the push but if you want to practice more pushes push it more you know um, you can also memorize the exercise a little bit like how do I know this how do I know this how do I know this where the how do I is the tooth and the know this or know this uh, is a drony push part. I recommend playing this exercise on a metronome. So you probably have some metronome app and there you put in 90 BPM and you mark every second beat and you play it like that. And that checks if your uh, execution is right. Okay, so one beat should be the poly part on the tooth and the other beat should be uh, the droning pile, the push. Okay, now I'm not sure that 90 BPM is perfect for you to start 
but I would say that should be your goal. And if you don't start with 90, well, maybe you can start with 80 or 75 in that ballpark, you know, you should find your solution. Probably it's not lower than that, but don't uh, take my word for it. Uh, try it yourself. So again, you have this one beat on the metronome and you do ta -da and you have another and then you do dum dum. Now we come to the exciting part and this is for those who are now yawning and thinking this is way too simple for me. Well, here is what we can do. If you count this um, in four beats, um, like a four beat bar and every one beat is ta -dum -dum -dum, we will change the third beat into ta -ga waka waka waka, okay? So we will do the five phase tongue articulation with uh, this three old with a tongue skip in the beginning, then going into waka for three times and then going to the, another ta da mm, dum dum at the fourth beat. So this is what it sounds like. it would be the same thing. understand that there might be some bars or some variations between the basic and the other. So this is where you come into play. You, because this is your homework. Your homework is to think of what you can phrase between these da da -um dum dum between how do I know this, okay? So you will play with me and um, or just play with a metronome and you will find a way by repetition, by hypnotizing yourself, by getting mesmerized with this basic beat, you will find a way to find something new, hopefully beautiful. Um, so of course you can do something strange there, but I would recommend that you find something that fits and something that can be tied to the other beats fluently, okay? I, I do wish that you reply with a video, that you tag me in the video so that uh, and let me know that it's there so that I can check it out and I will feature another video with you playing those uh, variations and also I would offer maybe some new ideas if you don't think of some something that I've already thought of, if you don't include that into your um, offer, I will, I will add that uh, to the menu. I recommend that you take a little bit of time, you know, and don't offer too many solutions to the game, maybe offer one or two proposals how this could be played. And let's see what the community makes out of this, okay? And in case you don't have a metronome, you don't have a phone, so you don't, you can have even a metronome app, um, I will play this a little bit for you and I will play it a little bit sparser so that you can try to fit in and also 
or you, we can just play together. Thanks so much for following the channel. Please subscribe, like, and uh, hit that notification button if you want to thrive in your didgeridoo playing and do the opposite if you don't. Yeah, looking forward to hearing your versions and here, join me in this small, simple journey to the unknown.